Oh, the first time that I'd heard that mentioned was um, the father inviting a group of us to participate in it. And we didn't, I had no idea really what it meant, but he used the word Earth Shield and um, a group of us basically committed to engage every day with each other within the as a shield. And, uh, and it was almost like, I'm not saying there wasn't a shield already. Uh, it may have well be. And I know other people have, have used the term Earth Shield previously. Essentially, it's a shield of light. Now, there may well already be a shield of light with the angelic beings that are have a function. But this seemed to be inviting us to participate in that um, and to make it function more effectively. Um, and the, 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 what the father asked us to do was to shield the earth from external influences while he continued to do what he was doing on the earth without interference. Uh, so that was the original intention. So that would be shielding the earth from influences from other cosmological or dimensional beings to ensure that those beings did not uh mess up what was going on or what god was doing the father was doing now that was the initial engagement and as we began to engage with each other um and then as we began to realize that there were angels and others as part of that shield um my involvement also with the angelic realm really ramped up as i participated in that so i began to engage that daily um began to first of all you know function there and so i was functioning in a shielding capacity but then as we began to engage together ongoingly realized that this wasn't just a sort of negative thing to shield from negative influences this was also a positive thing which gave you a base to legislate or see into the earth into a different way so as we began to engage we began to connect with the earth um, connect with the sentience of the earth the core of the earth uh, all sorts of different perspectives seeing things in the earth what was going on in the earth legislating into the earth as well as shielding it from external things so we began to function that way um, saw an awful lot of how uh, certain things are going on on the earth, certain angelic beings and, and how they function, both negative and positive. Um, saw four particular angels that were assigned to us to work with us, uh, Union, Liberty, Limitless, and uh, Blessing. Um, and those four angels were uh, associated with the four faces of God, the lion, ox, eagle, man. Um, so lots of activity, really, um, learning as we went uh, and discovering all sorts of things and how to engage there, how to see there. Saw a number of angels also um, that were connected to the, the positive um, as opposed to what the negative aspects of how the systems of the world works in regards to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil independence. So there, they function with um, division, uh, competition, conflict, and tribalism. And that's what keeps the systems of the world um, operating out of independent knowledge. Um, so the four angels that were assigned to us to help engage with those spheres were uh, the opposite. Let's see, union, covenant, peacemaker and family and that's how god functions um and so he functions that's his desire that we are in union with one another in relationship that we function in covenant with one another so we're in that covenant relationship of mutual uh, honoring and and blessing uh and that we operate as peacemakers because there's no end to the increase of his government and peace and we operate in family not tribalism family operates as we are one family um, of god's children and therefore we need to honor and respect each member of that family tribalism again is is a 
uh, an outworking of conflict in that we are tribes against other tribes. So we, we name ourselves. So all denominationalism is tribalism. Um, so we, we actually began to understand and experience that and see how that functioned as we were given a uh, mandate to deal with it. Hi everyone, we're starting a Patreon page, patreon.com slash freedom ARC. And we would like to invite you to partner with us in taking the message of God's unconditional love, limitless grace, triumphant mercy to a bigger global audience.